A brand new fire station, only six months old, was celebrated as the most modern in its district. Well, it isn't anymore. It was completely gutted by flames. The cause? A failed lithium-ion battery. But that's not all. There are some crazy details surrounding this fire. The fire started overnight inside a fire station in Stadt Allendorf, Stad Allendorf, Germany. It happened in a fire truck where lithium ion batteries were being charged. I'm sure you can imagine, we have a ton of lithium ion batteries on our trucks. The fire spread quickly through the bay, engulfing almost a dozen fire engines and just flat out destroying the fire station. Firefighters responded within just three minutes, but the flames were already 50 feet in the air at the time. At that point, it's game over. This video is sponsored by Blazestack Fire Investigation Software. Blazestack is a fully featured fire investigation case management platform that arson and fire investigators rely on to log, document, and report fire investigations. Get a free trial at blazestack.com and request a quote using the discount code STASHED. Now, I do understand there are some people out there that think an electric fire truck might have been the cause of this fire. But everything I'm reading and going to the local news sources, making the translations, I don't believe that this is actually the case. Over 170 firefighters from the surrounding departments responded to fight this blaze, and the blaze destroyed the fire station. It caused right around 24 million euros in damage. Thankfully, there were no injuries. But here's the craziest part of all. The fire station, it didn't have a fire alarm or sprinkler system, suppression system. Apparently, these systems are not legally required in Germany for fire stations, but come on, it's way better to have one than need one. When planning to build the station, they decided not to install the systems because of a cost-benefit analysis, and that was before they even built the station. What do you think? Could a fire alarm system prevent this type of destruction? It wouldn't have prevented the fire, but it sure could have gotten firefighters to the scene and, and to that fire much quicker and limited some damage. But man, had they had a suppression system, that would have likely limited the damage to really the apparatus involved. Remember, a commercial suppression system, it's not designed to suppress the fire itself. It's actually designed to protect the infrastructure. The community's mayor, they stated despite the rapid response, the fire spread so fast that it was hard to control, raising doubts whether alarms would have even changed the outcome. But I really disagree with that statement. These types of battery-related fires, they really aren't a new thing. And as we see here, fire stations, they're not immune. Back in May, there was a fire at the Stacyville Fire Department. The fire originated on a shelf inside the station where lithium-ion batteries were charging. While the fire was knocked down quickly, multiple pieces of equipment were damaged in that blaze. And in early 2023, in New Zealand, there was a fire in the compartment of an apparatus. Turns out a lithium ion powered fan, it was a ventilation fan, it caught fire. And there was significant damage to the apparatus, but overall it wasn't a total loss like we saw in Germany. Every year we get more and more battery operated tools and equipment on the trucks. Saws, extrication equipment, ventilation fans, medical equipment. Heck, even our SCBAs have lithium ion batteries. Our equipment is always put to the test in the harshest environments. And what do we do with those batteries? We put them back into the trucks, we charge them indefinitely inside those compartments, inside the apparatus, and we really need to stop doing that. When doing truck checks, if the batteries are charged, take them off the charger. If you put a battery on the charger, take note and go back later to take it off. Inspect those batteries for damage. If the battery was submerged in water or really got wet on scene, take it out of service. Use OEM batteries. Yeah, you can absolutely go online, buy those cheap knockoff replacements. They are so much cheaper, but often they're lacking critical safety features. They're designed and built using cheap materials. Losing your own station, that really sucks. Something a firefighter really doesn't want to experience. With that said, the local community has responding with overwhelming support. Nearby fire departments have offered vehicles and gear with fire departments across the region donating turnout gear. It's reported they're receiving 50 to 70 emails an hour with offers of assistance. The insurance companies will assess the damage soon, but it's unclear how long it will take to rebuild that fire station. This incident is a great reminder of the challenges we face with lithium ion battery technology. It's time to reassess how we protect essential infrastructure and maybe start with a few fire alarms.